children of the living God. You are alive in Christ. You are complete in Him, children. Peace and rest in Him. Full power and strength and authority will be in Him in the coming days. See to it that no one takes you captive through philosophy and empty deception, which are based on human tradition and the spiritual forces of the world, rather than on Christ, for in Christ all the fullness of the deity dwells in bodily form, and you have been made complete in Christ, who is the head over every ruler and authority. Colossians 2 verses 8 through 10 Do you hear that, children? You have been made complete, nothing lacking. You have been made complete in Christ, children of the kingdom. May this message bring you peace and rest. We are one in Him, each a member complete in Him, our Lord and Savior. All praise and honor and glory to God for His amazing mercy. No doubt, no fear, no worry. You are complete. Believe and rest, precious children. It was finished 2,000 years ago. I manifest you now, nothing lacking, nothing missing, complete. Everlasting joy has come. Rejoice, children of the living God. Your Father delights to give you all good things. I restore all that has been broken. I bring forth all that you have cried and wept bitter tears over. My joy shall be manifested in fullness within you. You shall have no need for anyone to say, Look, he is there, or come, let us see him. I shall dwell in your midst in full power and glory, shining within you, for all the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwells within. All fullness shall be known and experienced, all lack eliminated, all brokenness mended. I weep bitter tears for each tear you weep. I cry with great anguish of heart to see my children delivered and set free. Did I not give my very lifeblood for you? How much shall more shall I give you all good things? I gave all to deliver you and set you free. My children are held captive and crying out for release. I bring it to pass in your midst. Do not lose heart, for all things unfold as ordained. I know the times and seasons, and you are patiently waiting for my fullness to come. Great reward for those who are waiting shall manifest. Great defeat for those who have wicked counsel in their hearts. Rejoice, O children of the Most High God. My Father has given you the kingdom. It is ours to enjoy and explore eternally. All things which you have felt and sensed and dreamed are manifesting in your midst. Fear not, fear not, fear not. There shall be shaking of the heavens and the earth as I bring forth the freedom of all things which have been enslaved and kept in bondage. All things restored, all things fulfilled, all things manifested. Rejoice, O children. I do not tarry or delay. I know your hearts cry out for my coming. I hear your hearts. I hear your prayers. I count your tears. They are precious to me. Sing, O children of the living God. Rejoice in the joy of your salvation. My children have been held captive for far too long. Freedom is here. Sing, O children of the living God. As the walls of Jericho fell with a mighty crash, so shall the walls of your captivity come crashing down, and you shall rejoice and take the spoil for the kingdom. All things shall be shaken, but you shall blow the trumpets and play the timbrels as you advance forward and take all that the enemy has stolen. You are my warriors, my army of the kingdom, sent 
forth to do valiantly and exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think, for it gives Father great pleasure to give you the kingdom. You have forgotten who you are. You shall now see with first-hand acquaintance and knowledge what the Father has always delighted and desired to show you. You are my child, my offspring, my heart's desire. I bring you into my midst so that your yearning heart can be filled with my love, poured forth upon you, in you and through you, the glory you lost when time began, coming forth in fullness, emancipation, freedom, deliverance, healing, mercy, grace, life, joy, peace, justice, hope. All that you as mere men walking the earth have known in your heart as a faint longing, a whisper that would not end, always beckoning you home to my heart where you belong. I hear your heart. I know what you have need of. I know what I have designed you for. I have created in you a unique reflection of who I am. You shall manifest in fullness all that you were created to be. There shall be nothing held back, nothing bound, nothing captive, nothing reduced, diminished, or muted. Full glory of the Father flowing through you. Others will see you and shall come and bow before my children of the kingdom, joint heirs with my Son. Eternally he is enthroned in the heavenly courts, and you give him praise, honor, and glory, for he the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world. He has been all and all, and he shall be. He who was and is and is to come. The shaking must occur. It must in my grace and mercy. It must be as ordained before the foundations of the earth. You shall know all things as they come. I shall reveal them to my children. You shall not be in the darkness, for you are children of light. It is not a theory. It is not an abstract. It is a reality. The King of glory is coming. He comes with healing and righteousness in his wings. All my watchers whom you have encouraged are walking in my counsel and spirit. Listen to them. They have been called to announce and herald my coming. They have served me well. I rejoice to give my children the kingdom. Rejoice, O precious children of the living God. He reigns. All that has arrayed itself against truth must be broken. As it is broken, my glory flows to cover and restore. Sing, precious children, rejoice, for your king comes swiftly. You have no need to know the day or hour, for it is a time when all things shall fit in my fullness. You shall know it perfectly as it comes. You shall have no need that no man teach you, for my spirit shall reveal all things to my children. Encourage one another as you see the days grow short. Be strong in the power of God's might. Submit to God, resist the enemy, and the enemy must flee. You are bold as a lion. You come in my name and my full authority. You have been covered by my precious blood. Nothing can conquer you. Nothing can defeat you. Praise and honor and glory to his holy name. The king comes with healing and righteousness in his wings. Rejoice, O children of the living God. Let not your hearts be troubled or afraid, for he comes. He comes for you. Amen. Psalm 150, verses 3 to 5. Let everything that has breath praise him. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with stringed instruments and pipe. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. God bless you, precious children of the living God.